We all know how to face our subject away from the sun, but then how do you get good light on their face? Of course, I'm talking about reflectors. They're super cheap and easy to carry. Let's have a quick look on how it's done. I'm Scott Robert Lim. Let's shoot some pictures. Here's another tip on how to use bright light to your advantage by using a simple reflector. All right, let's get to it. So I have some extremely strong light coming this way and I don't want to face the subject into the light because they'll just be squinting and it'll be very painful experience. So usually you put your subjects back to the light and they have a very nice uh, it's they don't have to squint or anything, but the problem is it's so bright behind her and And there's a contrast of light here I need some light on her face to get that little bit of catch light and to balance the exposure So I'm gonna just bring in a simple reflector and you can see the difference of light that it can make. In fact, it could be so strong, it'll give your um, subject a, a tan <laughs> if they wanted to, especially if you're doing it for four hours a day. <laughs> but so how you adjust your reflector is you fade the light how strong you want it. Okay, so if you can like turn your nose this way towards the light and look back at me, then see that's a little, I could see her squinting. So what I wanna do is just fade it so it's not real strong on her, okay? Which could be just using the edge of the reflector, right? Okay, so close your eyes and relax. Okay, I'll just hold it right there and then open. Perfect. And now you can see I got a perfect catch light in her eye. Now if it's too strong, you could just have her keep closing her eyes and just go ahead, close your eyes, relax, and then open. Boom, I got that nice catch light. Now what you can do is experiment with the catch light. This is kind of like a side catch light, but you could also create an awesome effect where you're just trying to get this up light into her. Can we figure out how to do that? <laughs> you might need to come over here on this side. Yeah, there you go. Oh wow, that's a lot. So now you just kind of adjust it. If it's too strong, what you can do is just go with the white side and bring it really close to her. So where is the light? There it is. So you could see a beautiful catch light in her eyes and I'm using the up light right here. And I'm gonna come in and I got this beautiful catch light in her eyes that I can use. And it's very soft, but you have to put it, when you use the white side, you have to put it really close to your subject. But man, I'm getting some beautiful portraits. And a lot of times if you can use the white, that's my preferred because it's not real strong. And so she can look and give me a very natural expression because the light coming back into her is not very strong at all. So first try the white side and see if you can get enough light there and then if and get it really, really close. And then if you can't, you can go ahead and use the silver size. But white is definitely my preference right here. Okay, good. One more this way. And that's great. So again, very simple tools. You have a bright light situation, a very uncomfortable situation, but you can turn it into a great portrait by putting her back to the, to the sunlight using a simple reflector to create a beautiful catch light in her eye and you're gonna get an amazing portrait. And that's how you shoot in bright light, putting your subjects back to the sun and using a simple reflector to give you that beautiful catch light. A very easy tip that you can use almost anywhere and with a tool that's very not very expensive at all. That was just one of many tips and tricks I teach my students in my classes. With the link below, you can get my class on Introduction to Photography Lighting for free. I hope to see you in the classroom. I'm Scott Robert Lim. Let's shoot some pictures. Thank Beautiful. you.